Ah, the Jackman is back and it's like he never left. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, these are my thoughts on the Deadpool Wolverine movie, a film that I imagine that Kevin Feige is now screaming from the heavens with happy happiness. After the kind of slump that the MCU has had in the last little while, it's probably a godsend that this movie has come about, not only with the popularity of Deadpool, but also the nostalgia slash popularity of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. It's something that a few people, myself included, were a little bit curious and a little bit cautious about was if this film was going to be part of the MCU and kind of like really hammer it in to try and rejuvenate the universe that they've got going on. At least to say no, and if anything, it's kind of an homage to the entirety of the 20th Century Fox superhero legacy that they had. I am kind of surprised I'm saying that, but it's not entirely false. Like, I actually loved a lot of the references to that whole era throughout this film. I don't want to get into spoiler territory because I thankfully stayed away from a lot of the trailers. After that leak happened of the fight with the two of them in front of the 20th Century logo, and there was that request of like, hey, could you guys just not, you know, leak stuff? And I thought, you know what, I'll just, I'm just going to stay away from them entirely. So I haven't seen any of the trailers. I've heard the trailers are quite showy uh, with everything. So I'm going to try and not do that for you guys. But in essence, it is about Deadpool teaming up with a Wolverine to try and save his universe. Some of you might be wondering, does it disgrace the legacy of Logan? They address it in the most Deadpool way they could absolutely do. And it doesn't feel wrong, it feels right for the character with the humor, the graphic uh, virtue of him, and just the overall presence that these two movies have had. It does flow into this one, admittedly with a much larger budget. The first two movies, specifically the first one, was made with not the big blockbuster MCU kind of budget that they're used to. This one definitely got that money. They definitely show that in spades in this movie, but at the same time, they are also addressing a lot of requests and complaints that people have had with the X-Men movies over the years, costume choices being one of them, as well as a few other kind of misdeeds that have been per kind of peppered throughout the whole series. This not only makes fun of it, but it also makes fun of the current MCU too. It just felt like there was nothing that was off the table. There was a lot of things that you would thought would have been like, you can't say that, but I think to have silenced the character at this particular moment would have done damage to what this film is supposed to be and what the character is supposed to be. Ryan just absolutely kills it once again as this character who is just the very, very degenerate version of himself uh, and seeing Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine as Logan was actually quite an experience because it felt like he never left that was just how comfortable it felt for me to see this character again and how they introduced him into this film it felt like he never went away but it still does talk about the main hitting points with this character this is a character who has always been in the wrong time, in the wrong place, but always tries to do the right thing, even if it is against his own thoughts and if it usually leads to disaster. The Wolverine is a very damaged character, a very broken character, but it's those reasons and more that we like this character. And they did a pretty good rendition of that character with him. The banter between the two of them is so great. You've got one guy who just hates everybody and then you've got another one who never shuts up and these two can fight each other forever so you've got gold there but there were some parts where you would think it would maybe go a little bit long or a little bit overdrawn or maybe a bit repetitive and there are a couple of moments like that in this movie there are some bits where and even the film points fun of it as well is that the progress of the film kind of comes to a dead halt for a large amount of exposition to be told, and then it moves on again. And sometimes it, it takes a stop even just for a shit ton of ad lib. And while some of it is great, it is great. It, I found that the ad lib really dated the second movie. I felt that while the second one was good, it just didn't have as much of that unique factor as the first one. It kind of just felt like, hey, this is what we did in the first one. Let's do that again in the second one, but more ad lib. Third one has a lot of grandiose action to kind of cover our 
alternate between the humor and the ad-libbing. If there was one complaint I did have about this movie, it is that. it's It goes a little bit long in some places, and sometimes it's like, okay, that, that was funny. Uh, it, can, we, can, we, can we move on a little bit? In the grand scheme of things, though, is this a connected movie? Like, does it have influence on the MCU? I would say no. I would say this is very much like Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It is its own movie, and it absolutely excels because of that because this is its own thing it is focusing on its narrative alone you're going to enjoy it all the more for it and some of the surprises that are in this movie are kind of ridiculous there is one in particular that i got super excited about and they just kept on diving into that more and more and more and i was really really happy about that surprise and if that surprise isn't for you i guarantee you there's one for you in this movie that you will be happy about overall wolverine and deadpool is a very fun movie is it an excellent one i would say not so much it's very fun for people who enjoy this it's very fun for people who enjoy deadpool it's a cool run once again for those who are fans of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. It definitely shows its silliness a lot more than it probably should have, but again, that really does seem true to the Deadpool character. Overall, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I was laughing, I was just going woo at a lot of points, and that's something I thought I wouldn't do again. This was the first MCU movie, MCU, that I saw on opening day since I think I went and saw Doctor Strange on opening day and I went because I was going with friends but on my own volition I, I I think I would say Endgame I didn't even see Guardians on opening day despite the fact that I was very excited for that movie I, I was a bit hesitant going into that movie just because of where everything was in the end I think that Wolverine and Deadpool is a very fun movie if you enjoyed the last two movies you're you're gonna love this one so in the end, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 7. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. I don't know if I would see it again, um, but at least in theaters. But I'll definitely see it with friends again if they have like a Toonie Tuesday thing kind of going on. But in the end, those are my thoughts about this movie. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about it. What do you think about it? Did you enjoy it? What were some of your favorite parts? Let's try and keep it spoiler free in the comments if we can. Um maybe do more of a talk later on but right now just curious to see what you guys have to say otherwise hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe and until then see you guys next time